Okay, hello, it's Yashino here, and today I will show you how to make eyes uh, for models with Live2D. Uh, so, this tutorial will be useful for you both if you are an illustrator or a Live2D artist, because uh, I will show you both how to illustrate, uh, how to make the layer division, um, to prepare your model for rigging, and also how to rig it. The rigging part will be divided in uh, making the parameters and the physics. So let's just uh, jump right in. I have made this little um, scheme for you to follow. I will post it, I think, on Twitter. Um, I'll put the link in the description so that you will always have this as a reference while you're drawing. So. We're gonna draw, we're gonna work on this eye that I've uh, already drawn in the past. And yeah, I've put little numbers here so that you can see the layer order. Every layer is uh, in uh, normal mode except for eye uh, shadow, which is this dark one eye light and eye reflection that uh, have a uh, light mode remember that inside of live 2d you only have multiply and um, additive one very important thing to remember when you are dividing any element inside of uh, your drawing program to uh, prepare it for rigging is to leave overlaps as you can see here my top lash is overlapping to the side lash and also to the mini lashes also to the hey, also to the bottom lash and what is very very important is that the sclera has to be a little the sclera is the white part of the eye by the way uh it has to be a little bit bigger than the lashes also one very important thing draw the iris completely even if it will be partly covered by the top lash and draw the lights separately we need lights even reflection if you want separately from the iris okay what can i say i think this is all for the illustration part let's jump into the uh, rigging part remember that i will leave this scheme for you in the twitter so that you can follow it and check it whenever you want so here we are in live 2d and before we start rigging i want to show you what a finished eyes look like this is automatic blinking on as you can see there's a lot going on there's iris scaling there's the eyelid moving some mini lashes wiggle some full lash wiggle uh, we have a lot going on i think that making a lot of details inside of the eyes is crucial for your model to look good right so here uh, i i prefer to take my parameters make a nice little folder just for the eyes and as you can see this is all the parameters that we have for one eye um so we will have ir uh, open and smile these are uh basic you will have here by default and uh we have also these four here that we add that uh, are needed for the physics let's go to our model the first step after you have imported your model is to uh, create the meshes so for the eyes i like to rework the meshes on my on uh, my own so um if i do automatic mesh standard it comes out like this it's not good because the eye will have a lot of um deforming we don't we cannot work with this so let's toggle off the uh hair so we can see what we're working on also uh work only on one eye because we're gonna flip it and um yeah yes <laughs> yes yes uh so one thing that I want to do now is to take the elements that had the special blending mode, come here, additive, additive, multiply, this one already imported, okay. So as you can see, it's coming out a little bit. We're gonna uh, clip it later. First, we're gonna work on the meshes. So the meshes that we want to change are uh, the lids, uh, the iris, and the lashes so let's start already working on that 
what we want to do is click here remove everything because we're gonna start again with our own mesh so what you're gonna do is basically take this to add more points and just make a nice little outline of it remember you have to add a lot of dots because the more dots you add the more detail the movement is gonna be in case uh, your division is not as detailed as you want it you can also click here for division as you can see there are some extras we can just take our brush hold your B key and hold also the left click and drag it to make the brush bigger or smaller and then we can come here and erase the extras a little bit click here to confirm that I want to show you how I handle the iris so with the iris we have um, we have a special trick but you need to make the mesh look just right for the little trick to work the little trick would make your um, your iris look three-dimensional and I can show you why it's called the parallax effect so as you can see when it moves it looks like it's 3d looks like it has snapped to do that we need this special mesh what you want to do is to outline it first then we go to the center to the pupil and we need to outline the pupil as well like that now we can click auto connect after we've done this we need to fix it a little bit so we don't want any line inside of the iris remove every line inside of the iris now since i have a eye sh uh, a heart shape inside of the eye i also need to remove this one and confirm now in uh, fast forward i will uh, make all of the meshes There we go, I've made all of the meshes for the lashes. Remember, you don't need to change the sclera or the eyeshadow shape. One thing that I wanted to show you is about the, um, the highlight shape. So what I'd like to do is to not put too many points for the, the highlight. So make it just like this. To connect and remember that you can make them actually separate so inside of the same element you have two different little pieces let's disconnect them this way you will be able to move them separately okay so now we can clip what we're gonna do for the clipping is click on the sclera copy its id yeah now also don't mind my spe the, i have some special expressions here for example blank iris sparkle don't mind um so once you've copied the id of the square you want to select iris the eyeshadow the eye reflection and copy uh, paste the sclera id on it what this is gonna do is that whatever we clipped to the iris is not gonna go outside of it okay now what we're gonna do is to select all of the elements of our right eye like this and make an <coughs> i'm sorry i'm a, I, 
I am feeling a little bit bad. Uh, you could probably hear it from my voice, but you know, it's gonna go away soon. Let's make a nice little deformer with the IR called the IR creative just to make things um, more tidy. So, no, no, no. First, we're gonna work on the eyeball X and Y. So, let's take the iris. And make a nice little deformer iris x y uh, iris r x y so if you have any alternative iris like i do put it inside of the same deformer this way these two elements will move together and now let's also grab the highlight and make i light x y also are <laughs> create ah i forgot eye reflection needed to go inside of the iris r it's very simple just grab it and release it on top of the deformer it's gonna move inside of it and it's gonna move together with that what we're gonna do now is to hold your control uh click cl right, uh, left click on the iris r r x y uh, hold your control key left click on this one as well this is gonna select both of them click on the parameter here and click these three dots here this is gonna create three keyframes here i like to call them keyframes so if you let uh, right click on this you are now selected the left keyframe now hold shift hold your left click move to the left less around here as you can see now we have center and left what we can do now is to click here reflect motion make sure it's selected horizontally okay and now we got our left to right look now comes the nice part the coolest part what we're gonna do is to select the iris also make sure whenever you are making some changes to a parameter make sure that we got our keyframes green if it's white it's not good so let's make them green we go to the left what we're gonna do now is to select take the lasso tool and select all of your iris dots now we have it selected let's go to the left alt shift left click and drag it to the side the concept of it is that since the uh since the pupil is more back is more on the background it's gonna tend to stay in place and move slowly of what is in front select again lasso to select it go to the right shift left click and move it to the side now we have it looking like this what we want to do now is as we said what is in front needs to move faster so let's select our lights let's go here and let's move it a little bit more forward because it, it's the, the light reflection is right on the surface so <clears throat> i'm sorry so it moves faster right let's make it more like this and again reflect motion horizontally like this as you can see, we have created the parallax effect. Let's do the same thing for the eyeball Y. What you can do now is to click here, uh, right click on this, open this little thing, select. This is gonna select all of the param all of the elements that are active right now on our parameter. Click on this one and click on the three dots. This is gonna take all of the elements that we have used for the eyeball X and make them active for the eyeball Y as well. Now, again, select iris. Make sure to select the deformers for now, not the elements now let's go to eyeball y so left when you are using the y um the y parameters left is down and right is up so let's go to left bring it on more or less like this maybe a little bit more and reflect motion 
this time vertically right we have it again now again select the alris now this time we want to work with the object not with the part not with the deformer select the iris make it down select your iris uh, i mean i'm sorry <laughs> your pupil bring it up like this you see it wants to stay in the middle instead the rest of the eyes moving now let's go to up and bring it down like that now i want to take the uh, light and make it move faster so when it goes down the the light is going more down faster now we can reflect the motion vertically okay and boom so what we see here is that we have our two parameters you can click on the top one so that it's gonna uh work together with the bottom one we can click in the middle here right click here select click here synthesize corners make sure that you have eyeball x and eyeball y selected here okay what happened here is that it blended the corners so what you see here is that when eyes move also the lid and the lashes deform a little bit and that is a very cool effect so how do we do that uh let's select the lashes so you have to select all of your lashes plus the eyeshadow plus the sclera so click here hold your control key lid side lash mini lash mini lash low lash eyeshadow sclera and also our makeup and i'm also gonna select my tears if you have them select them as well once we have all of these selected click here and let's call it lashes x y r create now listen to this this is not good we need more bezier divisions you need them more or less like this because what you want to have is to be able to have one point here so two points on the top and two points on the bottom so we basically need to have a little square that is on the sides of our eyes so we're able to move the uh, the lashes around so now let's click here click on the three dots you see everything is green we can disconnect them for now now when the eye goes to the left we want it to enlarge a little bit here right if i deselect it you see how it's enlarging when the iris goes there we can even do it a little bit more like that we also want to do the same thing to the other side again and synthesize corners again now we have our full i x y movement okay now we can jump straight in to the ir open and ir smile so for opening our eye what we want to do first of all is to select every element of our eye all of them so except for the special expressions so select the lid top lash side lash always to um, do a multiple selection hold your control key and left click on them mini lash low lash eyeshadow sclera eyeshadow everything or now click on here this is gonna help us create more keyframes in a specific spl specific place that we want make it one at zero one at two one at eight one at one so what we want to do also is to edit parameter the default needs to be 0 0.8 this is because this is default this is wide open wide open like this you see you see it while i use it this gives your character much more expression this is gonna be half closed and this is gonna be closed so 
what I like to do is to take path deformer, deformer path here, and add points. I like to add one here, one here, one in the middle, one here, one here, also another one here, just like this. Now we can go on the closed keyframe. Let's bring it down. Don't worry, it's gonna look weird in the start. You can always change it and tweak it. We, so what you're gonna do is to bring it down always holding shift more or less here. Do not make it touch the bottom one yet. Bring this down. Oi! Cancel. I uh, made a mistake. There, like that. Like that. make it squish a little bit and as you can see we already have the eye close we just need to tweak things a little bit so i think that there you go i need to select the sclera i think that i can make a for division for the sclera as well you're gonna see why so i'm i can make also a deformer pad loop like this so now like this when the eye is closed, of course, we don't want to see the iris. So, hold shift. Now, hold alt. Shift again. And we want to hide it behind our top lash. Like this. You can see that it's starting to create what we want. We also want the deformer pad here. So that we can hide it. Always double check that the dots are green here. Now select both your eyeshadow top and low. Take a deformer for it. Eyeshadow, I cannot write eyeshadow. Close R. If you don't have makeup, then skip this part. Um, like this. So as you can see, this now uh, doesn't have green dots. What do we do? Right click on this, click on this, right click, click, right click, left click, right click, left click. We get, we have it now. Everything is green. What we want to do is to change our eyeshadow. I want to take a uh, to toggle off the blush one second so that I can more clearly see my eyeshadow. So we want to squish it here. We have another um, keyframe here. And that's just what we're gonna use to fine tune here. Also, I see that this is going a little bit down. Yeah. Okay. So this in between is to help us control this moment here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Move things around. Okay, now something that we want to do is to create a little bit of squishing for the iris when um, the eye closes. So select all of them, create a new deformer iris, squish R, let's call it iris squish. Click here, again, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click. Um, so here it's gonna squish just a little bit, and here it's gonna squish much more. As you can see, it has a little bit more of a movement. Same for the lights, let's select them. 
let's squish our create again right click left click like click left click right click left click right click <clears throat> i said that in the wrong order <clears throat> so we want this to go down fast uh here and also squish a little bit mm -hmm. so when we want to check our blinking inside of the uh, physics panel we can click here settings for eye blinking and lip sync and select our eye left and eye right open for eye blinking okay modeling open physics scene blending settings and we can check our blinking in action as you can see it's good so what we just need to do now more is this we can create wide open eyes so just as before now select the iris squish so the iris squish we used it to make the iris squish while closing but we can also use this one deformer hold alt and shift to make the iris small when it's surprised small now this is the last step before starting working on the physics the ir smile what this is gonna do is that when you close your eyes when you are smiling your eyes will be arched up like the emoji <laughs> now once again click left click on this one right click on it select we take all of the elements that we used for our eye opening and this time click on the two keyframes keyforms because we just need to so we want to go left click here and bring this to the left so it was very easy wasn't it so um i think that for today's video this will be it on the next video we will be working on making the parameters for the physics so now we only work on the ir open and ir smile and uh, the eyeball xy so we did this too now we need to add this other that will work for the physics uh, so <laughs> i don't want to make this video too long because it already was long so i will divide it the two parts this one and uh, the physics parts so the next video will be about the physics i hope that even this first part uh, was uh, useful for you and you can also and definitely just stop at this step and not add the physics if you think that those are too hard for you this is already a very good result in my opinion instead if you want to uh, check how to add the physics then uh just uh, check for my uh next video and yes so yes so if you want to see me working on twitch uh, i also do rigging and drawing on my twitch channel mostly every day except for friday uh, at 5 pm uh, i will link the i will uh, put the links in the descriptions for my twitch for my twitter for my discord server and i hope to see you on my next video and i hope you enjoyed i hope you will share it with your friends if you have friends that uh, do rigging as well and i'll see you next time bye bye bye